Hey everybody, it's Noah and Logan and welcome to the very first video brought to you by Other Brother. This weekend gave us a nice glimpse into three upcoming first person shooter. My mouth is so dry! Three different beta tests for upcoming FPS games including Overwatch, Doom, and Battleborn. What are your thoughts on Doom? Tell me about Doom. What's okay. up with Doom? Okay. How's the Doom? So over the course of the weekend, we together only played about three or four games of Doom. Uh, there were two different matchmaking uh, game types. There was one called... Kill everybody. <laughs> During my second match of Kill Everybody. <laughs> Alright, hey, we're talking, we're talking. Blah, 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 blah. After several discussions between the two of us, we both decided that this Doom game is hot garbage unless they refine it much more. We played about four games total, and it felt extremely bland. We weren't really able to have a good time, and it wasn't because we were getting our asses kicked. It was just because it felt like a boring game. There was nothing exciting about it. There were no new elements that you haven't seen before. It felt like Bud's Halo. Honestly, all the mechanics did. And yeah, it's still an arena shooter, and it was cool being in that small space with everybody, but it's just not enjoyable. I honestly wouldn't even classify it as an arena shooter because of the loadouts, because of the perks, because of the the floaty, un imprecise control scheme. It's more kind of trying to do its own hybrid bastardization, hybridization of every other first person shooter that came out five, six, seven years ago. Not to mention at the end of the match when you get to see all the horns and the guitar playing from everybody who's trying to brag. It's just not right. It's dude, bro. They're trying to appeal to a younger generation who didn't experience Doom growing up, and they're used to these Call of Duties, and they're used to Halo, and they're trying to give them something familiar, and it's just not working for any Doom fan. Granted, this is just a beta, but doubts are raised due to the fact that release is scheduled for May 13th. That does not give id Software nearly enough time to actually make any major changes to the game. Of course, all of these reviews that are coming from us and coming from other people on Steam and the internet is really just judging the multiplayer because nobody has seen the single player yet thus far, or none of the general public have, I should say. But we are still looking forward to playing the single player. We still want to buy it and we want to play it, but not for $60. Hey. <sighs> Overwatch. 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 Overwatch is pretty much what we expected. I personally didn't get an invitation to the closed beta, but Logan did, and I might have mooched a little bit. But that's fine. <laughs> Overwatch is exactly what we expected. It's great. I mean, there was never really any concern um, going around about Overwatch being a bad game. Um, it's tight, it's pretty, it's balanced very well. The the optimization of the game is spectacular. This game is gonna have a huge launch. It was actually probably our least played beta of the weekend just because we kind of knew that we were going to enjoy it and we don't wanna overplay it before it actually launches. Okay, what else did we get a shot to play? That Battleborn. Set for release on May 3rd. Uh, Gearbox Software. Battleborn feels like Ratchet and Clank combined with Borderlands, combined with Smite, combined with everything. It's crazy, and it brings elements to an FPS that you really haven't seen before. And it's not too similar to Overwatch, where you wouldn't want to buy both of them. It's not one or the other. It is different enough that these two games can be played at the same time, and you can enjoy them in separate ways. I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> Expectations weren't very high considering we didn't really know what this game was all about. But after playing several matches and continuously wanting more, we are definitely going to be keeping our ears to the ground on this one. In summary, let's say Overwatch must buy, let's say Doom must avoid, and Battleborn maybe buy. More. I'm thinking about it. Yeah! You just drop it on me. Don't be disappointed. Unless you buy Doom. <laughs> Just wait for Doom to go on sale. It's not gonna go on sale in the summer sale. Oh, sorry, not everybody plays PC. Wait for Doom to go on sale. Let's talk about that PlayStation 4.5 that has been all but confirmed at this point. PS4K! PS4K. <laughs> not really. 
Apparently based off several leaks and several sources, the PlayStation 4.5 or PS4K is an actual thing now. And is meant to release in December. Or November. There's no release. They haven't said any release. It's never coming out. It's never, hopefully. <laughs> it's got minimal things. They're increasing the chip speed, the, the, the things. There's three. There, it's got slightly... It's got more stuff. It's, it's got slightly better specs. That being said, there will not be any games that are exclusive to the PS4.5. They will only be playable in the higher resolution. This isn't a new console. There aren't going to be exclusives for the new PlayStation. This is a faster PlayStation. A faster, better PlayStation, but playing the games from the other PlayStation. I'm still making sense of this in my head, why they're doing this. I mean, at this point, buy a PC. <laughs> We're not fans. I'm not buying one. Thanks for tuning in with us today. Hopefully you left knowing not to buy Doom. And uh, you can follow us on Twitter at this handle. Oh my god, don't do that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. uh, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Here's three shot. pictures no, of my butthole. Let's say. Um. <laughs>